then start with reversal and heave them, okay? So, many times I'll be playing guard, my opponent step over one of my legs, I hear you step over one of my legs, and I apply the reverse of the heel. See that I put my hook right around his uh, thigh. It's very important to not allow your opponent to touch your thigh on the floor, okay? So every time my thigh touches the floor like this, it's so easy for him to start getting a knee cut. So he can start defeating my reverse of the hook, okay? So don't get the habit of placing your leg like this, okay? One, his weight is gonna be on you, and two, it's so easy for him to, to pass her guard, okay? So sometimes when I'm playing guard, he's gonna step over my leg, I frame like this, okay? I put my hand right here. So try to put my thigh on the floor. Uh, it's really hard for him to try to get a knee cut. It's hard for him to slide the knee, okay? So if I'm here, it's easy for him to slide the knee, okay? You see that uh, the best way for him to get a knee slide, there's the knee cut and the knee slide, it's a little bit different, right? This slide is when you go down and the knee cut is when you go forward, right? And you apply more pressure. Um, if he goes to the knee slide, it's more effective for him because when he goes, like his body is gonna be really close to my body, okay? Because he's sliding down, okay? So when he goes for, for the knee cut, he needs to go more like on top of my belly, right, right here. So his body's not like too close to me. So it's easier for me to get the space, try to go for a single leg, try to get the underhook and start playing uh, this type of guard, okay? So every time I'm here, if I'm controlling his sleeve, I'm not controlling like this, okay? I always need to put his, uh, his hand, or actually my forearm, under my leg here. Because now my forearm is supporting my leg, okay? And it's gonna be impossible for him to put my, my thigh on the floor, okay? Plus, like, I'm putting his hand against his body, okay? And I have the hand on the collar, so I'm playing safe here, okay? If he starts standing up, every time he starts standing up, my posture up, I can go back to regular de la Hube, okay? It's gonna be hard for him to play reverse de la Hube if your opponent stand up, you know? Like if he's like really tall and high like this, okay, standing, it's gonna be hard for me to play, okay? So I need to immediately like change to a regular de la Hebrew, okay? At the moment that he starts stepping over my leg and then going for the knee cut, that's when I start playing the reverse de la Hebrew. And notice that my, my uh, forearm is under my thigh here, not letting him put in the weight uh, on my thigh and letting my thigh touch on the floor, okay? This is very, very important. So even if I don't have grips, okay, with Rolando here, I'm playing with my legs right there. If Rolando step over one of my legs and I do this, try to put my thigh on the floor, try to turn me to the side, it's really hard. The only way for him to go for a knee cut is over my belly. Like he's putting the weight on my belly. But when he does that, it's easier for me to start moving forward, like just pushing with my shin, okay? And I go like this. And then from here, it's so easy for me to start getting the scrambles, just like we learned yesterday. Okay. So, but let's say we're on the step over my leg. I'm using my my arm to protect my uh, my leg. Okay, and I actually like to build a good frame here. So, uh, doing this uh, leverage here, I spend less energy with my legs than like this. Here, I need to squeeze too much my groin, and then I start getting tired. So, right here, I can relax more my legs. Okay, but let's say like even when I'm here, he's gonna break this grip. Sometimes he breaks his grip and then I'll get here, but I can't grab his collar or his sleeve, sorry. He's gonna start controlling my collar here. My hand goes right under his foot, just like we learned yesterday. Okay, I grab like this. Okay, I'm not gonna underhook like this. I underhook like this, you know when? When Rolando is stepping in on the floor and then start putting the weight back. Because now I can't grab under his foot, put your foot on the floor, I can't, so I go like this. I underhook like this, and that's when I start like scrambling like that, okay? But if he's putting the weight on me, I'm gonna control like this, okay? I grab his foot. So now when you start getting here, you're gonna pull him, right? And then you bring both of these to your chest, okay? And at the same time, you curl this arm here, forcing him to come over you, like this, okay? 
If you want to keep this on the floor, it's going to be easy for me to just get this scramble as we did yesterday. Okay. But a lot of times in the fight, your opponents will react like this. So when he's fighting with you, you control, he's grabbing your collar, he's trying to put the weight, he's going to keep this leg like this. Okay? So he's not going to go on. He's not going to do this with the knee on the floor. Okay? Uh, it's a different situation, okay? Different scenario here, different reaction. So if Rolando tried to go, go Rolando like this, and I drop my knee on the floor, look, he can easily go for the kiss of the dragon. Okay? But when your opponent's trying to put this, this leg as a base here, he's doing this. He's trying to go back this way, okay? But because you lift his foot off the mat, you see Rolando's taking my foot off the mat. I can't touch this leg on the floor anymore. You see that he's using his elbow on the floor, so I can't put my foot on the floor here. So he's right under me already. Now Orlando can pretty much like do whatever he wants. He's acting, he's starting like going for the scrambles, start going for crab rides and, and uh, other things like that, okay? So today we're gonna use uh, this set up to underhook his leg, the outside leg, okay? So I'm here, I'm gonna step over my leg, I control, I bring him up, so he start, I'm gonna start catching this leg here and turn this way, okay? And you see how I catch? I catch his leg and I keep his foot, his shin on my bicep. I'm not gonna put like over my neck like this, okay? So I want here. Because when I grab here, I can control his pains. When I go like this, it's harder for me to control the pants, you see near his calf. You see the space between my arm and his leg? You see, it's just my hand touching. When I'm here, it's my entire arm, bicep, forearm, and hand on his pants, on his leg, you see? Plus, it's easier for me to make transitions here if I need to pass his leg over my, my head, okay? So if I go over the shoulder, Look, let's say I want to make a transition, uh, bring his leg over my, my head. It's kind of like hard for me to do all this, okay? So I need to keep on my bicep, okay? So that way, look, I can easily bring the hand that's free here under his, his heel, right at the moment I lift. And now I can easily pass his leg this way, okay? You just got this? Okay, so... We're gonna just uh, do this, we're just gonna do this right now. So I'm here, okay, we're on the start putting pressure. Usually when he grabs your collar, he wants to pull himself to you. Pull yourself to me, like this, like super heavy. Now he wants to defeat the shin. He's gonna use this arm and try to put his armpits on top of my thigh. Once his armpit touches my thigh, my thigh, it's so much easier for him to start passing my guard, okay? Exactly. Okay, so when I'm here, I cannot like just wait, all right? So as soon as he start working to get the, the armpit over my leg, I start bringing him over like this. Once he stab the leg, I'm gonna catch his leg right here. Bicep, okay? So I control like that. So once I get here, there's different reactions that my opponent will do. Sometimes he's gonna drop this on the floor, and sometimes he's gonna stand up. He's gonna keep like this, okay? So if you keep like that, you see that I have the inside leg as a frame and my shin is gonna still touching his, his hamstring right here, okay? It's, this is very important. If I change like this, trying to put the X guard, he can put the weight on me, he can sit on me here and then he start closing the space. Okay, so make sure the leg that's between his legs, you keep the frame, you keep the shin here. So if you try to put the weight on you, it's gonna be hard for him, okay? Now there's two ways I can sweep my opponent. Usually he's gonna keep holding your collar here to try to apply the pressure on you, okay? He used the, the hand on the collar to pull himself to you. So I'm gonna start like facing to the outside and I will go with this hand right here that's under his leg and control his sleeve, okay? Because once I do that, now it's gonna be harder for him to use this hand, okay? And this actually helps me when I come up. You guys understand why, okay? If I don't control this uh, hand right here when I come up, it's easier for him to run from me, okay? 
So I need to have this grip here. So once I get here, I gotta start changing the, the, the foot right here. So I put the outside foot right inside his leg, okay? And I'm gonna start kick him and come up. I can use this hand here on the collar uh, on the floor when I'm coming up like this, okay? But when you do that, to be honest, like he has a better chance of uh, limping his leg out. Okay, yes, this leg, if he's really flexible. Or simply like, if I lose this grip here, he can start running from me like this, okay? And how many times you come up in a nice like X guard sweep and your opponent face his butt to you like this and you're here. And a lot of people have a hard time to sweep people from here. They try to kick the leg, they try to go here. And when, when they try to go to the back, the person simply like turn to them and then they end up like losing the position, right? So it's very, very important when you come up, you keep holding this, this hand, okay? And you keep the hand on the collar. If you can't come up with those two grips, it's gonna be super hard for him uh, to run for you, okay? So now I can try to run for me like you did before, so you can. See, now it's so easy for me to apply the pressure and I'll circle walking towards his leg. Like this, take him down. So once I get here, I start get, getting his head, half guard, or get ready to get the knee cut, right? So whatever you like to play from here, okay? So the way that I, that is better for me to stand up, so when I get on this position, okay, is with the hand on the collar the whole time. Okay, so I go here. See, so now it's so much harder for him to run for you. Okay, even to limp this leg out. See, so now I like to sweep and get on the half guard, okay? I don't like to sweep and go straight to side control, okay? For example, like you can go like ah, here and get right here. But he can bring you this way, scramble inside, go for 50-50. Or not only that, go back on. He can simply like go to a single leg, like he bounce back, like he put his belly down, okay? So I prefer to sweep him and go to the half guard. But look, you see like, if I go like this way, he can go underneath of me as well. Go underneath of me, like this. And then he start like putting me in this position here and then he's gonna counter me, okay? So I need to sink his head to the floor and circle. Don't move forward, okay? If you move forward, he can go underneath of you. So you go like, like this. Try to go underneath of me alone. I just, I just control everything with my grips, okay? On the collar and on the sleeve. So the technique is, is this. So again, right here, he's gonna start to get the knee cut. He's gonna control your collar. You say it's really hard for you to break this grip. If you weigh too much, he's gonna beat your, your knee shield, okay? At the moment that he's here, four fingers on the collar, grab his foot, he's applying the pressure. Now I'm gonna bring my knees to my chest, curl my, my arm here, pull the collar and kick both legs. So he's gonna step, I'm gonna control, control his sleeve right away. Take advantage of his grip on your collar to control the sleeve as fast as you can, okay? So once I get here, look, I still have the frame. Now, I apply my foot, my outside foot, right on the inner thigh, okay? Don't kick his shin, okay? Kick his thigh. So now I'm gonna start extending my leg and using momentum to sit up. It's just like I stand up in base without putting my hand on the floor. Okay, it's like, like this. Kick him as far as you can to stand up. So if I kick slow here, if I go like, uh, I can't stand up, you see? So I need to kick him as far as I can and stand up and sit up as I ankle pick, sit up. You know the ankle pick sit up is this, right? So you kick him boom, and then you, you go like this, okay? So you use the momentum to take your hip off the mat. Once you're here, you're standing, right? So I got here, control, place my foot. I'm always facing towards his head, okay? I'm not like squared up like this towards the ceiling. So I kick him and then I use the momentum, okay? You see that the leg that I bring underneath of me is the outside leg, okay? Here. So when I kick him, 
This is the leg that goes underneath of me. Just stand up, okay? So it's like a here, circle, and then, when I mean circle, you lift his leg, pull his head down, and move like in circle, okay? And then be careful, not let him go underneath of you. You guys understand, okay? If it has the knee on the floor, you can use the same concept, okay? Same thing. So, yeah, I'm gonna show a guy right here. He placed the knee on the floor. Same thing, okay? Make the transition, extend the leg a little bit, kick, and then come up. It's even easier for you, okay? So I wanna see you doing just uh, this type of sweep right now. And then after, we're gonna learn like when he's like not letting you come up, okay? So first we're gonna do that. You guys have any questions? Do you see the entry? Right? Yeah, the entry is, uh, I'll do this angle here. I put my hand under my leg, it goes through right here, okay? So now, I don't wanna do the kiss of the drop, I just wanna make him step the outside leg uh, higher, closer to my shoulder. I get here, okay? He's gonna do it. Frame, I call this the Y guard, because their leg is like a Y, right? So you have the X guard and this is the Y. So you go one, kick, and then come up. So you gotta be really aggressive on the kick here, okay? And then you come up. And then start. Close into space right on get on top. Last one. So I'm here, the longer start breaking my grip, you're gonna collar go one, two. Control, you have the knee on the floor right now. Push and come up. Okay, very simple, easy. And there's a lot of variations you can do from that setup, okay? All right, let's work. One, two, three. Everybody understood like how to force your opponent to step the leg, okay? So you guys all did really well. But some people had a, a little bit of a hard time to come up, okay? So I'm gonna show you one thing. So the hand on the collar will help me to two things here. First is to pull the collar so he can come close to me, okay? Closer he gets to me, better for me to get underneath of him, okay? So I can even like react, make a reaction. Let's say he's trying to put the weight on me. I feel that I don't pull, I don't have too much pull, you see? Because he's already close. So I start like trying to push him out and then he's gonna force himself to go back. That's when I use the momentum to bring him over me again. If I feel his leg is close to my neck, I just use my hand here to bring his leg on my bicep so I can control the sleeve with the hand on my bicep. Now, one thing is that's important. If he doesn't pose his hand on the floor, like stand up on like this, it's gonna be hard for me to sweep. So the second, uh, the second roll of my hand on the collar is to drag him this way so he can pose the hand on the floor. So I'm gonna do this. So it makes everything like better for me and easier for me to come up, okay? So don't try to be here. See, if his hand is not touching the floor, it's not time for me to stand up, okay? If it's like this, then I, I need to go for X guard, I need to do something else. And actually I can sweep him like that as well, okay? I can be here and then start like sweeping like that, okay? But when I get here, make sure you, you collar drag him and you pulse the hand that's when you, you can sit up and come up fast, okay, and easy. You guys understand, all right? So let's just fix this. Like when you get under, like just drag a little bit more. I'll give you like three more minutes and then go to the next. Yes? yes. Um, as far as, cause you know, you're saying that, you know, you, you pull away and then uh, use the momentum to, to go. Now, what if they just stay there? Are you able to still lift up the leg? Cause I also have an issue with that mm -hmm. where if he was just staying there and not pushing it to me, to try to lift up the leg, lift him up. Oh, he's like trying to move away from you. He's just you. kind of stalling there, just kind of sitting yeah. there. Are, mm -hmm. Am I able to still do that sweep where I can- Can you show the reaction for me, please, here? Yeah, yeah so he just, so he just kind of here and he just kind of stays. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so instead of pushing uh -huh. and you could do the actual sweep, yeah, yeah, yeah. can he just, can you still do the sweep while he's just staying here and stalling? Yeah, so what you can do here when you feel your opponent is too much away from you, and his weight's too much on the hip that way, and you don't feel his head is aligned with your head, you can simply like just like recover the guard like this, and then go to the 
Gotcha. They're like you have a burn mode. You see like you're off balance mm -hmm. right now, mm -hmm. right? So if I if I feel like your head is not coming over my head, like you're too heavy on that way. So I try to bring you, I feel like you know you're too heavy here. Mm -hmm. Immediately I need to switch like this. You see you both the head. Now I'm gonna start going for scrambles here, or you're gonna try to come back this way and start like dragging you, go for it. like a sit up bar. Okay? Cool, thank you. So if your head if your head gets aligned with my head here, mm -hmm. that's when I start like bring you like this way. Gotcha. Okay? Makes sense. Thank you. Great. Those. So yesterday we show like this guard with cover, right? We sh I show you this and you use that when he's like putting the weight back. I use that a lot. So when, when I'm here, Rolanda's trying to pull me over him and I, I keep myself like this. He simply can take this egg over my lap and then just turn and go for the line. If you see, he can immediately start going for, for burn bolo. Or like he just reset his guard, okay? So let's keep working on the setup, grabbing, and make sure you collar drag so you can post the hand on the floor so you come up easy. All right, let's go one, two, three. With this one here, we're gonna, we're gonna have two, two setups. Very simple, okay? So when I get here, I get the situation where I pull him, underhook his leg, control the sleep. Let's say he pulls his hand on the floor. Don't try to grab and reach there. Just keep holding his pants. As long as you still have the collar, you can still come up like this so he can run. Just try to bring his thigh against his body. So make him be like 90 degrees so he doesn't run for you, okay? Yeah, when Rolando is like this, that's when he can run and he can skate. Okay, but when I bend his, his body like this, try to run away, it's really hard, okay? He probably gonna try to single leg me here, try to count, yes. But then I'll be on top of him, okay? So I just like manage the situation like that. So, let's say I get inside, okay, right here, and Rolando didn't pose the hand on the floor, he stayed like, standing like that. I can control this sleeve here, it would be better for me if I can control this sleeve, but you can do without controlling this sleeve as well. But normally, like when he stand up like this, his hand will be right here for you. Okay, it's gonna be easier for you to control. And sometimes he have the hand right here, trying to pull me and pull my pants like that. Still, I still have the frame because I don't know if he's gonna put the weight on me or not. So I gotta just make sure I'm ready uh, for his weight against me as well. Okay, so I protect myself with this middle leg here, the leg that's between his legs. Okay, right here. So now he's pulling the he's pulling the pants up like that. So it's hard for me to uh, go to the kick, right? Also, like I'm trying to drag his collar down, and he's not putting the hands on the floor. So I cannot stand up for him, right? It's gonna be hard. So what I gonna do? I gonna bring this leg around his waist, changing for X guard really quick, okay? Just like that. All right. And then immediately I reach his uh, knee right here. Okay, so you see that I step my foot on his hip right here. Okay, so I was here. I go like this. At the same time, control the pants and change. Or you can even go like this. Control the pants first to secure the grip on the leg, and then go here. Okay, because you don't want to get here and let him step the leg out. So now the leg is far for you. Okay. So you hear, control, okay, change. And once you hear, now you just muscle sweep on this side, pushing with your shin on his belly, pulling his legs towards you, and then pushing the, the knee, the shin against him. So go like this, and then you come up, okay? That's one option. Again, so I get inside, I, I, I did everything right, but I can't drag Rolando, just like stand up on, He's like standing here. The good thing of this leg, okay, behind his leg here, my uh, right leg here, will always like, even if Rolando like, let's say step the leg away from me, Rolando, like far, like step out, like behind you, like this. Even like that, I can still have that hook to bring his leg close to my hand. You see, it's, it's easier for me to bring this leg close to my hand. I just need to have my, my shin uh, closer to his leg. So once I grab here, now, this way, okay? 
and then you start mixing it up. Like, let's say I got here. When I change, Rolando pulls his hand on the floor like this. Then I go back here. Sweep, okay? Hand on the floor, that means I go to the first sweep. Hands off the mat, I go to the X guard sweep, like sweeping back. Another thing I can do too, and that happens, and that's a regular reaction for your opponent. Sometimes I do everything right. Let's say I got here, I bring him, then he start posting the hands on the floor, or even like grabbing my collars. Like usually they grab your collar. So now if I try to sweep him, he start like forcing himself to be closer to me, right? So if that happens, I change to the handle of the collar, and at the same time I change my shin inside again. Now because his hands on the collar, it's easier for me to drag him to the floor like this. But notice that this leg is off the mat. So if the weight is on the outside leg, it's easier for me to sit up, to push him, and simply like sit up here, just like we did. But sometimes we're gonna put the weight on this leg. Even though his weight is on, uh, his hands on the floor, he's putting a lot of weight on this leg. Okay? When that happens, okay, in two ways, he can be with the hand on the floor or with the hand off the floor like that, okay? So I'm gonna start, uh, this requires a little bit of flexibility, okay, to do that. So I'm gonna start pushing him, moving him, and you see that I want his legs as close as I can with each other. I don't wanna spread his legs apart, because then I'm not gonna have space, okay? So when I'm here, I start bringing his legs like together. I kick, I, I, I do this, get out of I start doing this. I kick him this way, so he close this leg here, okay? Because what I wanna do is this, so I got here, I start like extending him, and he's not, he's putting too much weight here. Then I start closing his leg, now I change here, look, I put my foot here. I make a hook like this, okay? So now when I'm here, I need to be fast because Rolando can start long step this leg. Exactly, like this. But even with him like long step like that, Rolando, I still have like the moment to, a momentum to sweep him, go back. Because my foot is on his belly, okay? So I need to put my foot on his belly and my knee outside here. And what I can do here is pull him Take advantage of having him bent like that. Okay, his body is not like uh, straight. And then I start making Rolando do a forward roll, like this way, okay? So now, once, once I sweep, I take my leg off his belly and I do like a horse kick. So I can come up like on the side control, okay? So I don't wanna like sweep him here and just try to sit up like that. Okay, and then he's gonna start scrambling and take my back. So as I sweep, I have the grip on the collar and on the sleeve, so I use the grips to, to pull me and I do like a horse kick. Like this, so then I get on the side control. Okay. So now I have two other options here where when you get here, you stand up, I grab the pants, switch for a uh, uh, single X sweep, okay. which is very simple. Or you're here, okay? You try, he start posture, posture on like this, right? I still have the hand on his collar. I start closing his leg and I go here. With my foot like this. Once I get here, you can start a long step. Do the long step on, look. I start bringing him this way. And then, get on top, okay? Do me here, Rolando. So, Rolando go to the white guard here and I'm like on this position. You see, if my leg is here, it's harder for me to put this leg on my belly, okay? So when you start closing my leg like this, now change. Oh, no, no, change the, the leg. Yeah, so easy to put the leg here. Now look, if I long step, Rolando, just follow me here. Like this, I'm gonna fall because this leg is trapped. Okay, then he's gonna hop over me like that, okay? So as soon as your opponent falls on the second option, you just like need to do the horse kick. So you can land on the side control. Okay? Yeah. You guys have any questions? Uh, if you long step, there is no problem for you, right? Because you are controlling his sleeve. Yeah, if you long step, I don't have problem because I control the sleeve, I'm underneath of his leg, and also I'm controlling one leg, and my foot is on his belly. Yeah. 
He can start. Yeah. Yeah. Like if the fight's gonna be like this. Orlando got it. Look. look. So if I'm get, if I'm here, Orlando is already here. Go back Orlando to the white guard. So Orlando is in the white guard. Make the transition. Make the transition. He's just gonna extend his leg. Plus, you can go to Omoplata here. Boom, like that, you know. If, if you feel like he's not falling, you can reach the Omoplata there too. <laughs> or K guard and stuff. Because you're already grabbing his leg. All right, so let's practice it, okay? So you guys have any question? All right, so now you try to sweep in. His hand is not on the floor. So you're gonna go for the one leg, one leg X sweep or the foot on the belly. Uh, overhead sweep. Okay? Yes, sir. All right. One, two, three.